Hey everybody, welcome to What the Flick. Alonzo Bibbs, uh, The Flash, Fast Lane, uh, a.k.a. Uh, Joe punches everyone in the face. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, uh, yeah, so this was the episode... Um, where Joe punches everybody where Joe in the punches face. Well, it's the episode where Joe punches everybody in the face. This is the episode where... It was one of the episodes where they go to all the trouble of introducing a new villain, and they're like the least important thing in the episode. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I, I always wonder, like, is, did somebody in the effects department go, hey, I have a figure... I figured out a way how to make a guy step out of a puddle of goo. Oh, great, let's write an episode around that. I, yeah. I figured it was like, hey, remember, remember Clayface from Batman the Animated Series? We can <laughs> totally do that in live action now. I, I, that didn't bother me as much as the fact that I hate when a show show or a movie, they, they do it in the Fletch movie, weirdly enough, but I, I mainly forgive it, where you take two disparate storylines and just cram them together for no logical reason. So yeah. the guy that the tar man is after is also the guy who runs the drag races that Wally West is part of. Like, Your case and my case, yes, the they're the same, same case. case. Yeah. yeah. What are the odds? Yeah. That just seems lazy, <laughs> like like lazy script writing, or this was two episodes, we had to jam it into one. I I, I'm just really, really hoping we're through with the Fast and Furious subplot. Oh, because, please. Because I don't know why in this world in which people can turn into tar and freeze people. And run real fast. This is what feels implausible. Like, <laughs> this, is, this is the thing, because it just feels like it, they can't, there's no way to film this without making it look like you're trying to be the Fast and the Furious, and that makes it so specific. Like the only thing they were missing was the montage of butts. Yeah. Well, but we do get uh, uh, you know Iris in hot pants at least. But yeah, I, it was no. yeah. It, it, the thing about this show is like you know you you the way on all of these superhero shows you kind of forgive TV special effects. Yeah. Like you know they're not going to be movie special effects. Mm -hmm. TV drag racing is kind of the same thing. Like you, yeah. you, you realize that in a movie with drag racing, there's probably about eight cameras, and mm -hmm. they do it a bunch of times, and they've got stunt drivers. Multiple stunts and jumps. Yeah. And here it's just a couple Vroom. of blocks. Yeah. It never quite sells. And, it, yeah, it never, it never really in, entirely works. I, I feel like um, this episode really just hammered home just how dumb the Harrison Wells subplot kind of has well, been. Well, and they couldn't get rid of it fast enough. You know, yeah. Like, they, okay, they I'm stealing your speed. I regret doing that. I'm going to yeah. tell everybody now. Yeah, basically, which is, honestly, like, I wish they just had the the moxie to just subvert the trope from the beginning and just say, you will steal the flashy speed. And he'd be like, okay, sure I will. Guys, Zoom wants me to steal yeah. your speed. Wink. Yeah, yeah, like, that would have been fine. We didn't need to go through all this, because then we have this sort of, did you watch Battlestar Galactica? I'm trying to remember. I, I did not, unfortunately. There's a thing on Battlestar Galactica where there were so few characters left in the universe because, like, all of humanity is that. Oh, is this the Ebert law of the economy of characters that anybody who seems useless is obviously the bad guy? No, 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 no. It's, it's everyone gets forgiven for horrible shit. Because we like, can't really, get rid of them. We can't get rid of them. Like, everyone's like, oh, well, this guy was responsible for, uh, you know, killing all the people on that ship. Well, we all make mistakes. <laughs> I, we're all just going to sort of let it go. This happens on My Little Pony a lot. Like, <laughs> like oh, you were going to take away everyone's cutie marks and give us all this world of faceless, emotionless fascism. You're cool. <laughs> I was I, cool. I was actually thinking early in the episode, wow, if, if this well turns out to be as much of a, 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 a black mark as the first one, like, are, are we going to have an Earth 3 one, or are they just going to throw this guy off the show? Because, you know, they had a potential there to go to a really dark place and then mm -hmm. backpedaled frantically. I feel like all of the stuff that we're talking about that was annoying about this episode is just to get us to next week. Sometimes you just got to plow through, yeah. resolve some things, cover up some plot holes, do everything you got to yeah. do. And then we can move yeah, on. Yeah, we got to get to Earth 1 or Earth 2. That's Finally. Gonna, yes. And Supergirl crossover just got announced. Right, yes. That is exciting. Yes. You have to, are you watching Supergirl? Uh, I started and then I thought, yeah, but, but, I, but remembering how Flash went for me, I was like, I'm going to check back with these kids later in the year. So I'm going to watch the Flash crossover episode. It's a good show. I mean, wish we had like the studio time to review because I really do feel like it's, it's kind of the super person story done right in a okay. way we haven't had it in okay. a real long time. Even when it's not great, the, the heart's still there. Because I watched really the first good. three or four yeah. and it was like, hey, it wasn't grabbing me yet. It's going to be, I, I suspect we're in for a really fun crossover because those sure. two worlds will collide very, very But fast. yeah, but so, so this Oh, was, maybe they'll race. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I, I still have my, digi my, my whatever, the, the, the big size Superman versus the Flash. Do they thing. ever decide who yeah, They always is? tie. Did they tie or yeah. someone like, <sighs> yeah, but I had to save someone from a burning. Whatever. whatever. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, this episode was a little disappointing. This episode I, I, was just kind of fluff, honestly. There really wasn't a lot to it. Iris got injured, but who gives a shit? She's fine. Yeah, yeah. You I, know? I, 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 it hit her shoulder. Ooh, well, okay. <laughs> you, you really built up a lot there to make it seem well, like a big deal. It was a good moment when he realized that just that small decrease in speed was thing, just that, enough. That like, was a cool That yes, was a cool moment, and definitely. that really sold like the potential danger of it, and that was really, really... And just that moment where everyone's just like, yeah, no, it really sucks not being only slightly less fast, you know, because you can't say the people we love who are in danger, and here's someone's like, oh, for God's sake, fine, I did it, I did it. <laughs> it's like a bad cartoon, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, uh, but is that, are they going to call him out now for murdering Turtle? Are we going to talk about that anymore? Or oh, yeah, that, we did kind of gloss that over that, didn't swept we? under the table. I mean, they just sort of let that, yeah, hmm. Hmm. Maybe, hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. maybe next week. Next anyway, week next week, Earth 2, things are going to get better, we hope. So, Woo! see you then. No, that's...